Now, a transponder does a lot more than an AIS receiver. It also transmits your position to other AIS-equipped vessels. This is the AIT-1000, our latest Class B transponder, which is designed for fitting on vessels that don't require the mandatory fitted Class A. That means leisure users, fishing boats, and other vessels under 300 tonnes that want to take advantage of AIS, but don't want to have the cost and expense of a Class A transponder. Now, a Class B transponder needs to have its own internal GPS. It needs to ascertain exactly where it is, what its position is, prior to sending that information. So even if you've got an existing GPS on board, you must use the GPS antenna that's supplied with the AIT-1000. The AIT-1000 is designed to connect to either PC-based navigation systems through a simple USB connection, which can also be used for programming, or alternatively to NMEA-based systems through a simple two-wire connection. That means it's compatible with the vast majority of chart plotters and systems from Raymarine, Simrad, Lowrance, Garmin, Standard Horizon and many more. It uses a simple 38,400 baud NMEA connection to interconnect with your other electronics. Now we've built in some nice features which allow it to be remotely mounted. One of the features is the ability to connect to a remote silent switch. Two extra cables are included in the power cable which allow you to silence the transmission through connection to a simple switch but still continue to receive AIS targets. Now that might be really useful in pirate infested waters. So installing is nice and simple with a dedicated antenna connection for the VHF antenna, dedicated antenna connection for the GPS antenna, a USB connection for the PC, and then a power and data cable for the traditional chart plotter. And there's even a handy color code guide here showing the color coded cable connections for the power and data cable and you'll be pleased to know that it's tough and waterproof to IP65. Once installed and connected, it can be left fitted on the boat permanently. And then this is the front panel with a range of LED indicators showing the status of the product. So the AIT-1000 comes delivered with a nice compact GPS antenna and also a driver CD and software suitable for PC programming of the unit. And as a bonus, we also include AIS Lite viewing software which turns your PC into a full function AIS viewing program. Also included is the USB connection designed to connect direct to your PC. So the only other thing that you'll need is either a VHF antenna or connection to a suitable splitter. The splitter unit allows connection to the main VHF antenna and will provide a feed for the VHF on board the boat as well as the AIS. So this is the SPL250. It allows connection to a dedicated mast top VHF antenna which can then share for the main ship's VHF and also for the AIS. It's also got a third output on it for an AM-FM car stereo and these LED indicators show the status of the unit. Do bear in mind that when you transmit on the VHF, the AIS transmissions and reception will be stopped. So our advice is actually to always fit a dedicated AIS tuned VHF antenna. It's cheaper than a splitter it may take a little more time to install, but it will certainly give you much better performance in the long term.